J2EE is a set of tools for creating software systems in a tiered architecture. This isn't anything radical or difficult, it's just an approach to building software in such a way that it's more flexible and it's easier to maintain. It allows you to put software together in ways that you can change or completely replace part of it without affecting the other parts. A simple application has all the tiers in one program. In this organization, the one program has the user interface and the database access with the business logic coded in between. The only way to change anything is to change the whole thing. If some new data source pops up, you have to change the program so it can get to it. This means you have to change the logic used to access the data and process the data. If you've wound up with lots of programs, you have to change them all. If you have the entire process divided into separate pieces, or tiers as they're called, you can change one without having even to look at the others. The form you see here is the most common. It's a three-tiered system. One tier for display, one tier for business logic, and one tier for data access. You could, for example, add a bunch of interactive display and data entry programs at the display tier without making any other changes. If another source of data were to come up, you could add that by extending the data access layer. The presentation layer and the business logic layers don't have to worry about it. It's the data access layer that needs to know where to get things and where to put things. The actual number of layers depends on the requirements of the specific application. You'll find situations where you actually have four, five, or even more layers. There are plenty of reasons for using an in-tiered architecture, but the main one is maintenance. For example, when you need to add or change something, you can look at the architecture and you'll know where it should go. And if something goes wrong, the architecture itself will narrow down your search for the problem. The first step of debugging is always to figure out where the bug is located, and that part of the job is mostly done for you. J2EE is lots of different things. Its various parts can be used at different places in a tiered architecture. As you become familiar with it, you'll see how it can be used not only to construct different elements at different levels, but it can also be used to set the levels up so they can talk to one another. So J2EE is not just one large technology, it's lots of different pieces. From the presentation layer, to the web server, to the database access, all these pieces are designed to work together, but each one has its own specific job.